Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon Place Dead But Alive, Southern England, episode number 7 if I'm correct here, part of Falcon Spooky October Month. Brrr, you're very scared. Anyway, uh, <laughs> day 35, uh, me trying to scare you aside here. We're on day 35. Last episode, we found out a few interesting things. More importantly, we have a thief in the group. As you can see, we're down to six food. Somebody's been stealing our food, and we have to find out who it is. So we're going to be playing a little bit of detective here and find out who this culprit might be. And we can just probably kick him out or, you know, probably eat them too like we're zombies. I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but let's find out. We'll talk to Lucy here first, apparently. Hasn't gotten any easier for you. Killing Zeds, I mean. I thought I'd be accustomed to this by now, but I still find myself hesitating. I can't do it unless I feel my life is in immediate danger. Some people here, they took it too quickly. I don't know if I'll ever get used to it. I hope I don't, at least. Well, you better get used to it because that's the only way you're going to survive, Lucy. Um, I'm going to say it's gotten easier, let's be honest here. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I can't blame you, though. This sort of shit can eat away at a person. Remember, regardless of what these things are now, they were people once. Uh, those things aren't people anymore, Lucy. Lucy did not like this. Oh, so you're an expert on Zets now. I suppose you figure you've shot a few so you feel qualified to classify what they are and what they aren't. Did you hear anything about Zeds before they started showing up and mauling people? Or did this shit catch you by surprise like it did everyone else? You don't even know what if there is a cure yet, and you're willing to give up on them. You go ahead and write them off as monsters, boogeyman that need to be disposed of. I'll do what I have to survive, but nothing more. There's a cure coming, I know it. Nothing is hopeless yet, and you're a fool if you think otherwise. Alright. Wow. I had a feeling we were kind of pushing her buttons the wrong way, but I kind of went with it because that's what I kind of feel. A cure? Look, these these zombies are like, you know, rotting corpses now. Like, there's flesh missing or missing limbs. How are you going to cure that? Like, you know, assuming, let's be hypothetical here, and there is a cure to reverse zombieism. Okay, I could see somehow them... I don't know, like, if there was ever a cure for zombieism, then I'm, I would never even consider that, like, there being ever a cure. But if there would be, like, I guess the only cure would be to, like, you know, have them just die once and for all, and not be, like, a living dead creature, right? Because there's no way to keep re restore what would be, like, hurt, you know? Like, sometimes you see, like, zombies missing legs or missing, like, half of their torso. If you were to reverse a zombie's life, like, reverse zombieism from somebody who's missing half of their torso, so you revert them back to a human... How is he going to be alive with, like, half of the torso, you know? I'm not saying that there's not people out there that, like, aren't alive with, like, half of a torso, but, you know, in a zombie apocalypse is what I'm talking about, which is kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm putting way too much thought into it, but that's just me. I don't think there is a cure for zombies. And once it's zombie, it's over. You're not coming back. That's just my opinion on it anyway. Let me know if you guys think the same way or you have, like, a different opinion of it. I never really considered a zombie cure, but it's kind of interesting when you start thinking about it, really. Anyway. Um, that was Lucy. She's not happy with her responses, but so be it. I was going to be legit with her. Too legit to quit like MC Hammer. Anybody else want to talk to me? Let's talk to Nikki over here. Maybe it's Nikki. We started losing food after Nikki came around, right? Well, he's only been here like a day, probably. I wonder how my brother's doing now. I guess it was kind of good that he got that car for his birthday last year. I was mad at the time because my parents only got me a shirt and like two video games. If it means he's okay, though, I guess it worked out for the best. Yeah, I guess so too. Can we talk to you again? I can. I can't believe those bandits would just take your daughter like that. It makes me even more worried about my family. My younger sister is barely out of diapers. What would happen to her if something happened to my brother? Eh, there's still good people in this world. Yeah, I guess. Some. But lots of bad people too. Like those bandits. My brother and my sister are the only family I have now. I mean, we used to fight all the time, me and my brother. But I don't know. He's a cool guy, and smart, and funny. Maybe I can find him. All this will get better somehow. Uh, sounds like you're lucky to have him. I am, I guess. I never told him that, though. Like I said, we fought a bunch. We actually got in a fight right before we were coming back home. That's why I was riding with my parents. I wish I could at least say I'm sorry. Uh, kids your age fight all the time. I'm sure he knows he didn't mean it. That sounds good. Yeah? I hope so. I really want to see him again. I don't want my last words to him for him to be that he is an ugly jerk. 
Yeah. I've always thought about that. Like, you know how sometimes you leave in bad terms with people and then you consider the fact that, you know, I mean, you don't really consider it, but it's it's something that would probably would weigh pretty bad on your mind. Like, if you had, you know, a, a loved one, it doesn't have to be a significant other, but just another loved one, family member, um, you know, a relationship person, you know, whatever, just a loved one in general. And then you had a bit of a, say, a quarrel. And the last thing you said to them was something mean, and then something happens to them, that would probably be pretty bad. I've never been in that situation myself personally, but if I considered it, that'd be kind of fucked up. But anyway, that's just me. Uh, let's see about Mike over here. Who's Mike? Oh, he's Surfer Mike, right. Alright, let's go back to Surfer Voice here. Something else about this world's being like this really makes you stick, take a step back and just appreciate life. I feel like I was taking it for granted before. And to skip too fast. Come on, game. Blessing it all is. Who knows how many days we have left, you know? Might as well make the best of what we got. Uh, <laughs> you're right, sir, for Mike. We should. Can we talk to Carl finally? We can talk to Carl, and I feel like this guy might be the other dude that's maybe stealing from us. You know, we started losing food once Carl and Nikki showed up, so those are my culprits, really. Unless some one of our people over here turned rogue on us. Not sure. Maybe Tom. Maybe this gives me a reason to get rid of Tom or something. So, here's a, a question, and we've already talked to people here. Do we just go in here and start investigating, or what? I guess so. Oh, here we go, investigation. Alright, guys, let's do this. I should talk to the other people in the camp and get to the bottom of this. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to... I guess we'll try to go down the line, right? Wait, wait, let me guess. You two are starting your own football club, and you want me to be the winger. I might be able to make that work, depending on the offer. Caroline smiles. You think you like her smile. I'll keep that in mind. No, we know some food has gone missing from the supply tent. You haven't heard or seen anything, have you? Really? You have to be mistaken. No one in this group would do something like that. Are you sure you've checked everywhere? Uh, I'm not going to accuse her just straight up just because she said that. This is thank her. You're welcome. I'm not exactly sure what you're thanking me for, but it might as well be polite, I suppose. Hmm. Alright, we didn't really get much from that conversation. Let's go ahead and talk to Lucy. The two of you look rather serious. I hope there isn't anything the matter. Actually, there is. Some of our food has gone missing. A lot of it, actually. Pretty much all of our vegetables. We were just asking around to see if anyone knew anything. I can't say that I have, unfortunately. My instincts is telling me to look into Steve. But honestly, that's just pure gut. He seems to be kind of individual who screwed the group if he could not benefit him some way. Hopefully, this is just some sort of misunderstanding. Alrighty. Oh, no need to thank me if I was on duty. I tell you, it was all part of the job. I'll ask around some, too. I'll inform you as soon as I find something. Alright? Alrighty. Yeah, that didn't really tell us much, either. Let's go ahead and talk to Eric. Oh, hey, guys. What are you two doing up and about right now? We're missing some food out of the supply tent. We were hoping you might know something about it. Huh? Now, why the bloody hell would you think I'd know anything about this? I look like a thief to you? Very well. I can't say that thought hasn't crossed my mind before. I'm starving and all. I'm not really used to this one can of beans a day diet you seem to have me on. But the thing is, I know everyone here is wanting a spot of food now and then. It'd be like taking food out of their mouths, you know? So no, can't help you. Wouldn't even know who to point you towards for something like this. Alright. I wish I could be more help, I really do. I'll keep my eyes on the supply tent for now on, though. If I see anything suspicious, I'll give you a shout straight away. Hmm. Well, so far, we've had Lucy and Eric tell us kind of the similar thing about keeping an eye out and then telling us. I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but Renat has not given us the same type of response. Uh, assuming we're going by the same type of response here over here, so we're keeping an eye out on. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Nikki here. Hey, are you guys going out to get some supplies or something? Can I come with? Well, I've never seen someone so excited to go out scrounging for scraps. We're not going out for anything right now. Actually, some of the stuff we got during our last runs has gone missing. Do you think you could help us find it? Sure. Uh, well, what's missing? And like, do you mean someone took it? Someone stole it? Oh, I saw a raccoon the other day. It was a big old fat one, too. I bet it took whatever it is that's gone. Thank you. Sure, no worries. I'm glad to help. 
I'll catch that raccoon next time I see it. I swear. Alright, I think it's Nikki. I think it's Nikki. Oh, how convenient a raccoon. Oh, I saw a raccoon the other day. That's probably who took it. Yeah, nobody stole anything. It was a raccoon. Yeah, okay, Nikki. I'm pretty sure Nikki's probably stealing food for his family that he talked about. His brother and his brother's wife, was it? Or his baby sister? Something like that. Anyway, I'm sure it's Nikki. It's got to be Nikki somehow. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and talk to... We already talked to Lucy. Uh, have we talked to Mike? Who's Mike? I forgot who Mike is. Oh, Surfer Mike. Yeah, we talked to Surfer Mike too, right? No, we didn't. We didn't talk to Surfer Mike about food. Carolyn, darling, you're looking mighty fit on this beautiful sunny day. Fancy a bit of company? Uh, dog? That's kind of my lady, my friend. I mean, I guess you're not supposed to know that, but still, that's my lady, dog. Caroline rolls her eyes. No, that's all right. I'm doing quite fine on my own. We actually were hoping you could help us with something. A bit of food has gone missing from the storage tent. You wouldn't happen to know what happened to it, would you? Nah, not me, love. I tend to keep my head down and mind my own business. You're more than welcome to search my tent, though. Hell, I'd give you a hand searching if you want. Alrighty. Oh, sorry there, mate. Didn't even see you. Offer still stands to check out my tent, love. Er, not you. Her. Um, she's not going to check out anything on you, um, Surfer Mike. She's got me, dog. Uh, Alrighty, so, that's uh, Mike there. Gerald, that's the doctor, right? Let's talk to Gerald. I was actually just on my way to find you. We're running a bit low on bandages. Next time we go on a supply run, make sure you keep your eyes open for some. Yeah, alright. Speaking of supplies, we're missing a good amount of food. Did you see anything? Any idea who might have made off with them? Huh? Now why the bloody hell would you think to, to, uh, to, to think I know anything about this? I look like a thief, do you? Very well. Can't say that a thought hasn't crossed my mind before. I'm starving, you know. Not really used to this one can of beans a day business you got me on. This is the same thing as Eric's told us, huh? That's kind of weird. That they would both say the same thing. Let's thank him for now. Huh, I thought so. I didn't want to say anything because of sometimes my age, my mind will play tricks on me. I was checking out the medical supplies just last night, and there were far fewer cans than I remember the night before. I couldn't tell you where they went, but they were definitely there two nights ago. Huh. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Is that when... That's when Surfer Mike... No, that's when Nikki showed up, I think, right? That was Nikki. Uh, Steve is a jerk, right? No, no, Steve. Well, he's a jerk, but... Tom's the guy that I really hate now. Get out of here, I'm busy. You don't know what we want. You two twats come strolling up here with those dumb, serious looks on your face. Yeah, I don't know what you want, but whatever it is, I don't want to talk to you about it. Thank him, <laughs> I guess. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Glad to be some help, Steve laughs. I honestly don't think it's Steve. I mean, like, it just seems like it's just not his style, you know, he's just a dick, but I don't see him being a thief somehow. I don't know. Um, there's Nikki. Yes, let's talk to Nikki. No, no, we didn't talk to him. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the raccoon, yeah. Okay, Nikki, whatever you say. Uh, Carl is, um... What the hell is Carl? There we go. Carl's the guy that I had my eyes on, I think. Not Nikki. I might have mentioned Nikki by mistake, but he's what I meant, this guy over here. The guy who I gave a eastern accent to, it sounded, somehow turned into like a southern one. Uh, where, where do we have lately, don't you think? Bad omens. Well, I don't know about the weather. The Zeds are bad enough omens by themselves. Anyway, sorry to bother you, but a bit of fruit and veg has gone missing from our supplies. We were wondering if you knew anything about that. Me? Nah, I don't pay much attention to our supplies. Truth be told, take what I'm giving and that's good enough for me. Check the tracks around the supply tent, though. Look for footprints. They'll lead you to the thief. Ah. He's right about that. He is a tracker after all. Stank him. Yeah, anytime. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Um, we talked to the Nod. Common survivor we have not talked to. We haven't talked to Alex as well, right? Let's talk to Alex here really quickly. Huh? Caroline? Wh what do you two want? We're looking into some food that's gone missing. Did you say anything recently? Uh, no. No, can't say that I have. Sorry. Maybe check with someone else? Hmm. Alright. Yeah, sure. Uh, I couldn't be any more help, mate. Alright. Not much there. Um, is there anyone else, or what? Eric? 
Carl, we haven't talked to um, Tom. Do we leave for now? Do we accuse no one? I don't know what to say, man. Accuse no one. Talk to Alex one more time here. Same old, huh? Same old, same old. Tom. We haven't talked to Tom. Surfer Mike we talked to. Alex we just talked to. We have to talk to Common Survivor and Tom still. Oh, here comes this asshole. Gave him that annoying voice, right? Uh, hey, Tom. Sorry to bother you. A couple of cans of vegetables are missing from our stocks. Do you know anything about that? Well, if you're accusing me of stealing them, I know that you should go fuck yourself. Wipe that stupid smile off your face. If I wanted some more food, I would have just taken it and told that you I took it. Go look for clues elsewhere. Sherlock, you won't find them here. Jesus Christ, I hate this guy so much. Yep, now bugger off. Alrighty. Um, there you go. Uh, let's see. Well, I, I, I want to get the common survivor one again. Let me talk to Renat one more time. And let's see if we can get the common survivor one to trigger up here. There we go. Common survivor. Do you need something? Some food is missing from our supply tent. We're talking to everyone to try and find out what happened. Oh, well, sorry. I don't know anything about that. I just got here. I couldn't even tell you where everyone, everything is kept yet. I can ask around if you want. No, that's all right. Thanks anyway. Sure. Well, that didn't help. Next time, let's chat with someone who's been here longer. Well, how do I know how long they've been here? All right, so um, I'm going to accuse no one. There's really no one to... I mean, I could talk to somebody and accuse them. I right, accuse no one, I guess. Huh? What the hell are you doing? We have an investigation to get through, you realize? We can't just be sitting on our asses looking at the clouds. Uh... Can we try to find out accuse, like clues later on? I don't feel like looking right now. Oh, really? Fancy a spot of tea then, your highness. Get your daft arse back out there, you silly git. Everyone here looks to you as a leader. So, you best get out there and figure out what's going on. Oh, well, <laughs> so it's accuse no one, accuse somebody, or that's about it, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Nikki. Oh, no, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to accuse Nikki. I'm going to accuse the kid. I feel kind of terrible about this, but so be it. Huh? Wait, no way. You guys got it all wrong. I didn't swipe nothing. I swear I didn't. I'm innocent. Caroline, tell him. Nikki did not like this. Jeez, are you going to try to make the kid cry or something? Why are you so set on him being the thief anyway? Look how panicked he is. He seems too eager to help us. Look how panicked he is. Well, I guess he's just probably panicked because if he's a kid. Ah. Uh, he seems too eager to help us. Caroline sighs. Yeah, that doesn't make him guilty. That just means he's a kid. I have a feeling any of those responses would have given us the same thing, like him just being a kid. Try not to make him wet himself next time you talk to him, alright? And let's keep looking for more evidence. Well, I was trying to look for more evidence, but you didn't let me leave. You, you forced me to accuse somebody. Didn't I talk to everybody already? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, boy. I, mean, I, I, I guess I could leave for now. That's the right one, huh? Okay, well, I guess I have to accuse somebody, but I can't leave for now. Uh, in terms of supplies, I have no idea. Let's manage our party here really quickly. Uh, and there's nobody else I can talk to. Well, this guy we can't even talk to anymore. I've tried. That's about it, huh? Alrighty, well, let's go out and about really quickly and try to get a few more supplies, especially food, because that's really low. Uh, we're going to go down to here for nuts fuel, Falcon. Food is up here. Uh, we can't make any noise, so we have to walk it over here. We got eight food, one ammunition, and two fuel. All right. Uh, we need more food, though. There's some supplies over here as well. That could be pretty useful. Hmm, come down over here. We'll walk it over here. And we found eight food, three fuel, and two materials, and two ammunition. Good. Good stuff. I almost feel like going over to, like, another group and doing some trading. We have a bunch of ammunition. They might want to trade some ammo for food, probably. Uh, let's see here. This is going to be a walk. Let's walk over here really quickly. We found another survivor that would like to join their group. Uh, sure. Join for now. Let's come over to the group over here. 8 AP. Yeah, we'll come with this one. So we're going to trade some resources and we can exchange some news. Uh, let's trade resources. All right, they showed you an interesting um, they showed you an interest in our ammo, 12 points and offered to trade it against food, 24 points, fuel 24 points or materials 30 points. Ooh. Uh Let's go for food obviously right now. That's what we kind of need. So, hey, we're up to 43. Can we Oh, we could only trade once. 
<laughs> I wanted a bit more. That's fine. We're up to 43 food. That should hopefully get us through the night at the very least. We're up to 41 supplies, meaning tomorrow we should be able to put the barricade up as well. Uh, with 4 AP left over, we could walk it over to here to get some more fuel. I think we probably do that. So we'll come over here. We got six more food, two ammunition, and five fuel. Pretty good uh, expeditions, I would say. Let's go back to the camp. And we can't accuse anybody right now, so I'm thinking we just go ahead and turn in for the night. Our booby traps went off. Some robbers tried to sneak into our camp, but triggered the booby traps that we placed everywhere. Good. Uh, so they didn't steal this time around, which is fine. We lost how much food? Was it 26? We were up to 43, maybe? Alrighty, so now what we could do is build barricade number one. Good. So, 62% done. Yeah, we still have to do it three more days. Jesus, so much. Uh, we have 14 AP left over as well. I'm not going to invest... What happens if you investigate another day? Well, I'll do that later. Let's see about... We have 14 points left over. We do need some more food, I would probably say, right? And more supplies now as well. We'll come down over here to get some food first. And we got 13 food, 7 material, 1 ammunition. Perfect. 8 AP left over. Mmm. More food. That's 8 AP right there. Let's do it. Uh, 4 food, 1 ammunition only. Not really too great. And we gotta go back. 44 food for the night. Uh, we don't have any... We don't have any traps, though, unfortunately. So, we'll go in and turn around. Under attack! I was woken up in the middle of the night by screams. Some zombies were apparently attracted by the noise of the camp and found our way through the fences. Today we had to fight. So, we fought the zombies. Luckily, we didn't bring our noise meter any more higher. Um, luckily, it wasn't someone steals five food supplies. Yeah, that's still constantly happening over here because we have no idea who that is. Alright, so let's give this another go. Let's see if we could... I don't know, who do you guys think it is? I have no idea. Alex seemed really fidgety when we talked to him, didn't he? Let's see, maybe Alex? I don't know. Yes? Let's accuse him. Without no proof. Well, what? Well, what are you even talking about? I wouldn't take any of your vegetables. He walks away. Did we mention vegetables? We mentioned food, right? Did we mention that we were missing vegetables? Why would he say vegetables? Any reason in particular you're picking on Alex? Ah! He knows vegetables were missing. Oh, baby Falcon did it again. Ah, uh, yes, we'll go down. So just because... Oh, wait a minute. I see what you're getting at. Pretty sharp there. He didn't see, he didn't see him leave, but he knew what was missing. Yes, sir, I think we found our culprit. Don't say anything yet. Let's wait until tonight when there aren't so many people around. Alrighty. Hey, I did it. Perfect. Uh, so, for right now, what we do need to do is actually go out one more time, then. And acquire more food for tonight and more supplies as well. So, the supplies, there's some down here. We'll come down over here and walk it. And hopefully, we got two ammunition only, three supplies. That's pretty terrible. We could go to another survivor camp and do some more trading, because we have a bunch of ammunition after all. So, I said we walk it down here, trade resources, and we'll go ahead and choose... They show interest in our fuel. Five for five food, two ammo, or seven materials. Hmm. I was hoping to trade ammunition, but that's not what they want. They want fuel. You know what? Seven materials is not too bad for five fuel. I'll do that one. Let's go down to... I guess food, right? So we'll walk it down here. We got eight food, two ammunition, and six materials. Perfect. We'll come down over here as well. And... We have four food, two ammo, two fuel. Perfect. All we have is left over is two, which we can't do much with. I guess we go just back to town, or back to the camp, not town. And uh, I guess we wait for the accusation of uh, old Alex here, right? So, let's do it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Come on. All right, here we go. Alrighty, I think it's late enough now. We need to be discreet. We don't want to have a riot on our hands. Got it. Hurry, let's find Alex. Ten minutes later. Uh, did you guys have any luck finding the food? Was Steve mad? We're gonna need to search your tent, Alex. What? No, no, you can't do that. Wait, why? Why my tent? Uh, let's just stay silent for now. Well, if you're not gonna say anything, I suppose I have to. Oh. Yeah, go ahead, Garrelin. Huh? Say what? The missing food, Alex. We know you took it. No, I haven't. I, I swear, it was Steve. He was the one that took the vegetables. Again with the vegetables. See? Now that's the funny thing. How'd you know we were missing vegetables? Uh, because th that makes sense, right? 
I, I saw we were running low last time I was in there. I mean, after we talked, I went in and checked and that's what I noticed. Yeah, okay, buddy. Caroline sighs. You told us about the vegetables the first time we talked, though. Uh, why don't we go see what Steve says and let us search your tent. Yeah, let's go with that one. I think it's him. I, but I mean, do you really need to do that, mate? Look, if you're innocent, then you shouldn't have any problem with us taking a quick peek, right? We'll clear your name and we'll be on your way. I, uh, I'm sorry. So you admitted? Yeah, you'd find a can soon enough anyway. I didn't think anyone would notice. It was just a couple of cans of stupid vegetables and I've been starving. We're all starving, Alex. You may not have noticed, but we don't exactly have a nice grocer's to head on down to anymore. I know. I still have a can of peas left. I can go get that for you right now. That sounds like a good idea. And maybe you guys could, you know, keep this between us. I swear it won't happen again. That was just one time mistake. I'll make it up any way I can. Please. Please. I'm begging you guys. If Steve finds out, if Jenny finds out, I don't please. I'll do whatever you two want. Why don't you start by getting that can of peas? Right, of course. Stay here, I'll be right back. So what do you think? I don't think we should hide this from everyone, but I'll leave it up to you. Oh, as forgiving is a forgiving nature in my heart. I don't know, man. I don't know. He reminds me a lot of uh, the dude from The Walking Dead Season 1. The nah, Not the show, but the video game from Telltale. That, that guy that was just kind of like a jerk off the entire time. Um, he reminds me a lot of him. And he was useless to the very end. I tried to give the guy many chances in that game. I guess you could probably save him towards the very end. And then he helps you save somebody else, but that's the only redeeming merit. Everything about him, you know who I'm talking about, right? He was like that kid wearing the Letterman jacket. Um, that you find, I think, in episode 2, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's been a while since I last played that. Let's go ahead and tell the others. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Everyone out there already knows we we're looking for food. We don't want them all distrusting each other. Good point. No good can come from that. Better to get all this out in the open. I'll let Alex know your decision. You can go get some sleep. Looks like we're going to have a busy day tomorrow. Hey, you're telling me. Alrighty, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. We'll find out what the ultimatum is going to come down to for Alex's fate over here. We will be telling the rest of the party tomorrow, and I guess we'll find out then as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.